You can come to me for honesty. <clears throat> Welcome to my spooky Halloween marathon. I hope that you guys are ready for this. Alright? <laughs> I'm in costume right now. And in just a few minutes, right here at the tail end of the pre-stream, I will reveal my costume to the world. You'll see what I am for Halloween this year. I am an evil, dirty, heinous scammer who steals money from little children. <laughs> it's kind of hard to move around. Um, I was telling everyone, you know, the the, uh, the hydraulics and the animatronics and the costume are very, very uh, complex. And so I'm a little constrained in my movement. I can't really see too well. Uh, what the heck? A pig with a party hat. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Piggy. Ziggy Piggy. It is what it is. I'll have to make do today. What can I say? That's It's Halloween. You gotta go... You gotta go all out, right? You got to go to the extreme to entertain the audience. And uh, I guess I'll just have to suffer through it today, right? <clears throat> It's the last day for all the decorations in the office. Today we're going to have to say goodbye to Peter, the spider, and Joe Mama, the skull, and the ghost and all that. It's all going away after today's stream. No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. If we hit the subscriber goal, I will be doing a Christmas gaming marathon. Woohoo. <sighs> I'll be, you know, doing festive stuff, dressing up in Christmas attire for said marathon. Wow. Uh, I'll probably be drinking. Now, I'm not going to promise like I used to. Oh, I'm just going to keep drinking and get sloshed. No. But if I want to casually drink, maybe have some eggnog or a beer or two during the event, I will. I almost never do that on stream ever. So I will do it just for this event and I will try to contain myself so I don't get depressed like I did last year. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. I don't have depression anymore. What it yeah. is is me. Depression is something that is, it comes and goes. You may be having a great day, and then all of a sudden, wham, you'll get hit by it out of nowhere. And even though there's absolutely no reason to feel bad, you'll feel like shit. <clears throat> the fact that I do six full-time days of work here streaming for you. It's too much work. I can't. And if you want to see me continue to be able to do this as my job, you want to help the efforts to keep bringing the fun gameplay streams every single day. Um, it's all about crowdfunding. But I do rely on crowdfunding now to make ends meet, you know? So it would be amazing if in the next few weeks we get more viewers on the streams as a result of this and people, wow, Phil actually isn't the bad guy that people always purported him to be. In fact, what he's pointing out is that his worst moment is nowhere near as bad as what people make it out to be. Look at how all these other content creators actually were secretly shitheads behind the scenes. And we've been supporting and giving them crowdfunding for years. And they never fucking deserved it because they were toxic scumbags. While in reality, DSP wasn't so bad. He's certainly not perfect and he makes tons of mistakes. But he's still an entertaining guy that we maybe should have not and beaten down as much as we did over the last 10 years. Uh, and then he wouldn't be in the situation he's in. You know, it used to be a time when I was a full-time YouTuber... And when I was a full-time YouTuber, it was all about uh, advertisement, running ads on your videos and getting people to watch said videos and making money like that. It's not like that anymore. In fact, that whole ad revenue business model has all but fallen apart and almost no one can make a living doing it anymore. Since I am a full-time live streamer, I rely almost solely and exclusively on your contributions during live streams in order to make ends meet. All right. And so, some people immediately would say, well, Phil just had a goal that he reached yesterday. Why is he trying to raise more funds? Because it's about paying things in the future now. I paid what I owed by the end of the month, thank God. But now it's about the next month, right? So, that's how it works when you're an adult. Sadly, it never ends. It's an endless cycle. You're a grown-ass man asking your audience for wheelchairs. Oh, for my God. All right, here we go. a fucking job. Here we go. You've been begging. You always got some sort of. Blah 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 blah. Okay. Even though it is greatly appreciated, and yes, contributions keep stuff going. I. It's not mandatory. However, contributions are mandatory. Are not. Excuse me. Boy, did I screw that one up. Contributions are not mandatory. Why would I eat a dog shit? Why would I go down and pick up dog shit off of the ground 
and eat it. Fucking delicious! Then someone who creepily referenced the name of a road that's near me. It's not actually where I live, but it's a road that's nearby me. Tipped me a dollar and said shout out to my fellow Fragas. I have no idea why this person would have referenced the name of a road that's near me. Um, it's kind of weird. You know, I was doxxed years and years and years ago. It was within like the first few weeks that I that I moved here. Five years ago, I was doxxed. And I was like, oh well, big deal, right? My mailing address is not a big deal. So I don't know why someone feels like this would have any impact on me whatsoever. It just sounds like a stupid attempt to try to get like some kind of a reaction out of me that you're not going to get because, you know. So, no, I'm not going to tell you all kinds of crazy stuff about behind the scenes personal shit going on. It has nothing to do with my gameplay stream. Why do you need to know that? Why are you so fucking nosy to begin with? Tax man tipped me a dollar talking about property taxes. I have no idea what the hell they're talking about. Stop giving me if stop giving me advice about things you know nothing about. Ban them. Uno, dos, and Poofy was gone without a trays. Oh ho ho ho! Oh ho ho ho! Oh ho ho ho! Oh ho ho ho! My Halloween costume. Congratulations to PewDiePie. I mean, I'm the guy. I'm the. I'm the sole person responsible for inspiring PewDiePie to make videos. The only person he ever watched to inspire him to make gameplay videos. I'm the reason he exists and the reason so many knockoffs exist. I created the monster. So it's only fair that he has a sub to my channel. <laughs> All right. Big costume reveal in three... Two, one. All right, you guys ready? <laughs> I'm trolling you guys so bad today. <laughs> no rest for Shaq. <laughs> Oh, happy Halloween, everyone. How are you doing? <laughs> it doesn't even fit. It doesn't fit. Hello, everyone. How are you doing? <laughs> happy Halloween. How's it going? Here I am on Dino Island. I'm ready to eat some fruits. <laughs> and I'm ready to play some games. Are you guys ready? Yes, I'm here with my little... My little hump. <laughs> All right. Well, you got remember the reason I'm wearing a silly costume is because you guys voted wild card. Okay, so you basically put it into my hands to determine what to do. Rock the eyes, choose. So how many bits for you to do the Kiki challenge? I have no idea what you're talking about, and I don't do silly challenges. So. Cheered and said, would you shave one of your legs for a thousand dollar tip? Yes. Of course I would. That's silly. Shaving a leg is so silly. It's nothing big. It's not a big deal. And no one would see it anyway. Like, who would care if one leg was shaven? No one would notice. I would shave my leg for a thousand dollar tip. That's very, very stupid. No amount of bits. Nothing would work. <laughs> 